Hey folks, Mark here. I thought I'd do a quick video to show you where I'd got up to with painting some of the alchemy figures. Uh, I sort of showed you on uh, some of the previous videos, uh, the unboxing and the uh, you know when I opened the starter box. This is the uh, Jade Empire starter box. So you get five characters in the warband. One is this guy here called Captain Lee Ping. He's like the main uh, leader of the pack, essentially. Uh, War band, rather. This is uh, the alchemist, so the one that casts all the spells. So we have one of those there. And then we've got uh, two militia lancers and one archer. And they have their own cards with all their details on here as well. These folks that you can see in the background are just uh, you know, prepped and uh, spray painted tonight in readiness for painting. So we've got another three archers and two more lancers there. And that, that set there is from the uh, what they call the starter add-on, the reinforcements pack. So the idea being that, hey, you know, you can start with these five. And, you know, there's five Avalonians and five Kalimern, etc. Uh, so again, you, you know, you can quickly get playing the game. Uh, but then, you know, like any, you want to expand your army. So here's a way. There's some other special characters as well that we can build on. So, uh, but you know, they all start here, as it were, with these uh, with these starter warbands. I've I've customized the bases, as you can see, using some green stuff and created, you know, what looks like uh, maybe they're in the city, because uh, the the bases are the usual normal bases. Um, I saw AD Productions was doing some uh, videos on Malifaux, having a look at the figures there. And one of the things uh, that I noticed with the figures from Malifaux uh, was the, you know, the preparation again that he was uh, having to do. So he showed some flash on the models. I spent about you know, about three hours, I guess, prepping up those you can see in the background, gluing them together, and uh, you know, putting green stuff on and, and then spraying them. So it's quite a bit of time, really, but. You know, I really took the time. I wanted to make them look good. You know, this camera, this is about as good as I can show you these figures on this camera. So I'll I'll take some photos and uh, you know show you them in more detail. What I'm really pleased with though is the the way the color scheme came out generally. Uh, let's see if I can move this light. So you've even got an overhead light on here, but no, nah, it's not going to work. The uh, you know leaping here is really dark, but you can see the blending that I managed to get onto this alchemist's robe and in fact you know, to prove that if we move it around you can still see it's you know dark in the folds so that's not just the light and that's one of the great things I love about mini painting is that you know every effect you see you know you, you've, you've put a brush against it you've made it happen um, he's even got sort of light blue hands as well uh, which is you know, part of the uh, artwork uh, on the box um, yeah, I spent a lot of time on these. These these five, by the way, have taken me about two weeks. So whenever I painted, uh, posted the last video, uh, basically I've just been working on these. So that's how long it takes me. I've got five armies to do, or four armies rather. Uh, so I've got some painting to do. Um, very quickly, I I was aware that I introduced alchemy uh, in the you know with some of the other videos, but didn't really talk about any of the game aspects. So one thing I thought while I had the characters out was just to show you these play cards. Because what each character has is a play card like this. So here's Captain Lee Pings, that's this fella here. And two key things are, these are attributes such as uh, you know defense, initiative and so on. Um, but this one, this line at the top here is a lifeline. And down the bottom here we have a series of numbers and a series of symbols that represent how much damage the guy can do in combat. But remember, depending on uh, how healthy he is. So this lifeline at the top, what we've got here is what well, we've got three whites, four yellow, three red. Whereas the militia archers have got well three, two, and two. The reason there's two lifelines on this militia archer, by the way, is because we can see at the back that number two. It means you can recruit a maximum of two and I think it's the same, oh, sorry he was a lancer for these archers you can do two as well so both of these lancers here can play off this card and given that I've got the ability to play two off this card but I've only got one you know we could add another archer in there and that would make a, a valid recruitment list every time you recruit you've got that limit obviously there's no limit on here so you can only have one captain leaping uh, but there's a 41 points 
uh, recruitment cost. So again, another way is to say, hey, you know, let's have a let's have a battle with, uh, you know, a, a kind of two hundred point army, for example. If you remember, I showed you these dice. So the idea, uh, this is about the amount of damage compared to how healthy they are. So, you know, if this guy's taken some damage and he's now, you know, we've ticked off these health lines, he's now in the yellow. He can only play with these yellow. And what we might get there then, when he attacks uh, a, a character, he might roll these, for example. So we've got a three and a four, but we've also we can also see it's got the axe and the sword. So when we look at how much damage he deals. What we want to look for then is this here, a sword and an axe. So that says two. So what he's done with that roll then, he'll be he'll do two damage off the enemy uh, that he's attacking. So if he was playing off the red dice, he could still get a sword and an axe and do two damage. But the likelihood of a sword and an axe coming up on these dice is a lot lower. Remember that if they get you know as these characters get more injured, they're less effective in combat. So you can still end up with these. Uh, these points coming out, but you're less likely to get these, you know, maximum, for example, four points. And as we look at the characters, you know, leaping on sword and axe can deal out two, but you know, the alchemist can only deal out one. Yeah, this mili these archers can only deal out one, and so on. The great thing about the militia uh, lancers is they have this skill called long reach. So you usually have to have you know base-to-base -base contact to initiate combat, but these guys can be up to an inch away. And the idea is that you know they can still reach you with the lance. And hey, that's a quick intro. So I'm gonna try and show you some more uh, pictures of these, uh, some better pictures. And also I'm gonna start showing you how I paint these things as well because they were pretty easy. I mean, they took me a long time, but I was surprised how well they came out. So uh, let's have a look at that and uh, have some fun with some painting. Cheers. Mm -hmm.